Hello, on this episode I want to go over a few steps on equipment for music videos. I like to clear my memory card uh, and make sure there's nothing on it so I can uh, have a fresh start when, when uh, I go out to record. And that just, that's just to make sure I have I, I I don't waste time. I, I can't say, oh, we, we ran out of space and I don't have my laptop out in the field and I can't dump it. So that just saves a lot of a lot of wasted time, pretty much. Um, and when you're dealing with a hard drive, I typically like to use uh, Lacey hard drives. Uh, they're one terabyte or two terabyte. There's there's a di there's different ones. I like this one mainly because it's affordable. I think it's around seventy bucks bucks. Um, I've had about two or three hard drives over maybe three years. They kind of fill up fast. It just depends if you're just. It just depends how, what you're putting on there, how much you're putting on there. Yeah. Try and try and try and get a hard drive. It's definitely harder to work on a video, like editing a video without a hard drive, because you're saving everything. You're saving all your clips, everything you need, or music, or sound effects, or pictures, or whatever you're adding to a video. You're saving it on the computer, and it's taking up space on the on on the the computer storage, and. Uh, it's just it, it, like you, you you need that computer storage pretty much to keep going um, but if you have a hard drive you're working off the hard drive you're starting up your project in premiere off the hard drive and it it it's just it's just a way better experience than working without a hard drive so try and get a hard drive try and get one terabyte or a, or a bigger hard drive if you if you want I shot a, a few videos on iPhone as well. Um, in the previous video, I mentioned the app Filmic Pro. Uh, that's how I shot music videos on the iPhone, just because it, it allowed me to change my settings and treat it as if it was a, a regular camera. And it just, uh, it assisted me. It, it really helped me out. Um, and. Uh, I think what really helped with shooting on the iPhone was using a gimbal because I could just place the iPhone on the gimbal and um, whoever was helping me would be able to um, control it using another phone or another device or the gimbal has its own uh, controls on it and it allows you to go left or right or up and down and it just gives you these slight um effects and it just makes it feel like it's it's better than an iphone it gives you movement you can you can pan with it you can tilt it's really awesome it's a really awesome tool and even if you don't if you don't have a gimbal going handheld is very okay it gives you it gives much more of a, like a fast fast paced feel because you're moving a bit more, like handheld, you can kind of see the movements a bit more. But if if you if you if you're focused enough, you can pull off a nice shot, also handheld. Um, the last thing I would suggest, um, if you're, the last thing I would suggest if you're about to go out and shoot, would simply be having a light source. Um, because in edit in the editing process, I I noticed it's way harder to fix darker images and like try and save the footage rather than having overly bright footage. Because you could kind of you could just adjust the, the the brightness, and you can you can adjust the brightness. But if you have too much, if you have too dark of footage. It's very hard to bring up the settings and and try and save it and try and make the make this look clear and colorful. It's kind of tough to do that. So there's um, you can there's uh, LED lights you can uh, buy and 
they sometimes they're able to go on top of the cameras um, so those are really those are really he helpful to have there's small ones like th that you could just take with you and your camera and uh, that that'll allow you to be mobile and they just take batteries in the back um, there's there's uh panels like like pretty pretty long panels that they may need stands but they're still pretty important to have honestly like a, a light source I really like are called quasars um, I've never purchased one but uh, quasars are like lights that they usually have colors to them they have different colors to them they have remotes that uh, control like if they could flash or not and uh, they 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 they're able to hide in certain corners and stuff and you can put them up above you or put them below you. Um, using lights like that are pretty fun to do. Like finding little 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 hiding places to place uh, lights are, are really crucial for your videos, I think. And um, just being clever and thinking about it will, will help your videos a bit more too. I just, I just schooled you again. Um, Thank you for watching. This is a Keens Film School. You can subscribe, hit the bell, and like so you can get the notification to my new videos. You can book consultation time with me through Calendly in the description below. We can schedule a Zoom meeting to discuss me working with you on your productions.